So I just got started with image as the main way to store and view photos on my server. But the problem was setting it up initially. I had over 8,000 photos in a folder that had many subfolders and I didn't know how to get them all into image at once. So I first started by dragging and dropping them, but this proved to be pretty obnoxious. It would often, depending on how many photos I tried to drag at once, it would often start freezing. So if I just tried to drag them all, it would freeze. I'd have to delete everything and start again. And so I whittled it down and I started doing only 100 at a time, but for over 8,000 photos, that was pretty obnoxious. And I tried to find a better way. I wanted to find a better way, especially because I actually ended up scrapping my image uh, installation once, which I had already dragged basically all of the photos into, and then I had to do it again. And I tried running some Python scripts to change some things in the files and make it easier to do, but what it actually ended up doing was change the creation date of the file, and then image would read the file wrong. So I needed a better way. And I saw that image has a CLI tool to do this, but I also ran into a couple of issues there. So I went through the instructions they gave and tried to figure this out. So first I went into the shell of the image container itself, the image Docker container that I'm running, and I tried to do it from there. But even after trying to expose image to the folder where I was storing the photos, it wouldn't recognize it or wouldn't list that folder in the actual Docker container itself. So there was no way for me to use the internal CLI tool to import them. So what I ended up doing was then trying to go into my server and use the image CLI Docker container to import them into image that way. But that actually didn't work either. What happened was it just couldn't find the server at all that I was running image in. So I thought I was out of luck and I started dragging them over a bit at a time again. And after just getting quite annoyed with that, I decided to try one more time. And what I actually found is that you can use the image CLI tool from any computer. It doesn't have to be the actual server itself. So I was able to install the image CLI tool on my Mac. Uh, if I remember correctly, I used Brew to do this but it's also possible with NPM. And then what I did was just ran the basic recursive image CLI tool script, and that was able to pull all of the photos out of the subfolders that I had and import them straight into image. And this took a fraction of the time and it worked super well. So here's that script. So it's basically just image upload dash dash key and then you have to get your API key from your account settings in image and type that in there and then dash dash server and the address and port of image on your server slash API. I don't know why you need the slash API. I guess it's to authenticate with the API key and then you just do dash dash recursive if you're importing a folder that has multiple subfolders and then the name of the folder itself. And that's it. And once that is all imported, it'll give you a little progress bar as it's going. And once it's done, you're good to go. And you should be able to go straight to image and see all of your photos there. I hope this helped you get your photos imported into image faster and I will see you in the next video.